I did want to open it up a little bit. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another vloggy vlog and on today's vlog uh, we are riding a 2022 Ducati Monster 937 my friend let me borrow this for this riding bikes episode this baby is brand spanking you brand spanking you so uh, I'm gonna take it easy and treat it like it's my own and uh not you know getting you speak speeding tickets or anything so long story short as you know if you've been watching this vlog for any amount of time you know that this is uh the bike that i keep talking about this is the bike that i want to get this is the one and uh wait did i just get a speeding ticket i hope not i hope not i hate that fucking street i'm going like 27 um so yeah but this, this is this is the bike i i've been meaning to check it out for a long long time and uh never got around to doing a test ride and then now i'm just lucky enough to give it a go on my own at my own pace and i have a good hour or two with this bike um so i'll be able to ride it for as much as i want which is quite exciting which is certainly exciting so what do i know about this bike well first of all this bike has like 18 miles on it it's brand new it's literally has the new bike smell still has all the reflectors still has uh the mirrors and everything it's a it's a beautiful thing i'm looking at those people right there i haven't ridden in a while So, um, this baby has a quick shifter as well, which is kind of exciting. Uh, this is actually a third bike that I've ridden with a quick shifter, which is, uh, you know, I'm getting a little bit more used to the quick shifter life. Am I recording? Yes. Beautiful thing. Um, look at this dude. This dude is killing it flyway e-bike my boy is uh my boy is an animal look at him so 111 horsepower in this baby it's a 937 cc testostrada 11 degree l twin 111 horsepower 69 torques and right now i have it in touring mode um just because not my bike and I want to get used to it come on give me that green there we go this thing is quick I'm not used to a quick bike like this I'm also not used to riding uh, Pirelli's at this temperature because what's the temperature 41 that's another beautiful thing that's new for me uh, and that's a common thing on bikes today, but let's see, where are we? Freaking trouble machine. Nothing but trouble. The suspension, uh, it's interesting, it did get light. The suspension did get light. 
and I'm kind of wondering if this is the low seat because uh, this bike actually comes with uh, different seat options. Take it easy. I can't even. First of all, I can't see with these stupid mirrors. That's a number one, number one problem. Sh quick shifter up and down. That's easy. So this bike is light. That's the thing uh, about these bikes is that uh, this baby is only uh, 366 pounds wet and 414 I mean uh, 366 dry 414 wet obviously a stock exhaust so it actually sounds not like a monster and yes this is the infamous trellisless monster that lost its fucking lost its heart or whatever which I don't believe and don't agree with All right, I'm trying to decide where I want to go. I'm not even sure how thick I am. That's a problem with splitting on bikes that are not yours and that you're not used to. And where should we go other than Dumbo? Dumbo is the place and I'm just gonna pop a Yui and go back. I think that's probably the, the smart move. I was thinking about going to, uh, you know. Oh, interesting. I am in Dumbo. I cut. I could do my little uh, thing. You know how I usually set up a tripod and I squat next to the bike and everything. I could probably do it right here. You see the self-canceling turn signal. Yep. Oh, well, I actually pushed the button the last second. If I was to get this bike, I would definitely put a sticker over uh, the speedo, just because. Nobody needs to see that kind of information. It's stressful. Come on. Oh no. Please don't tell me I just got a fucking red light ticket. Here we go. I'm gonna go straight here. Yeah, my monster would definitely freaking gargle and pop and freak out. This baby is like a, a well-behaved little princess. Oh my goodness, what is this shit? What else can I tell you about this bike? The the seat, yeah, like I was talking about, like the seat I would actually uh, make a little bit taller, to be frank. Yep. Beautiful Dumbo, nice and quiet on this day off. It's a Sunday. Lord's Day, probably should not even be biking, but I don't have any morals. I don't have a compass, moral compass. Look at this building, it's really coming up. I definitely need a taller seat. They do come with a tall seat, which is a nice thing. Ew, a puddle. This could be a nice view, right? Or should I do it over there? No, this is nicer. This is perfect. 
I kind of like my data and block over there, but all right, let me see. Let's see. Put this baby over here. Where's the kickstand on this? There we go. Here we are. So, first and foremost, I'm gonna do my cute little tripod shot before I do the rest of it. And look, it has a little quad lock on it. Beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. We are in Dumbo by beautiful bridges, beautiful vistas, and uh, what can I tell you? So this baby is uh, obviously uh, has a oil cooler, nice little oil cooler, 320 millimeter Brembos, big big boys in the front, one big boy in the back. You obviously have a uh, traction control. You have a. Uh, um, wheelie control launch control and a bunch of other controls uh the whole basically bosch package from um the panigales and whatnot yeah so this is this is the one for me i just have to look into uh find out if this is a proper height seat or not and it comes with a little cowl this is the plus version so on plus you get this little thing and a little piece of plastic for the back. But that's pretty much it. Look at it, 10 miles. Thing is brand new, brand spanking new. What else can I tell you about it? The suspension, front and back, not adjustable, which is a problem. The, uh, the SP comes with a adjustable suspension, front and back, and I think for about $2,000, that could be uh, adjusted. It's gonna be about like $900 for the front, about $900 for the back. And you got the big catalytic converter right here. That's why the bike sounds so quiet. But yeah, what else can I tell you? So the tires, right, 180 in the back, 120 in the front. And it's interesting, this uh, 180 doesn't even seem that fat. It doesn't seem like it's uh, big. And it can probably fit a t fatter tire if you're a silly person, but I'm not. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go for a ride. I'm kind of like, it's one of those things where normally uh, I have to like do this and give the bike away, but in this case, I have it for as long as I want. And one thing I definitely need is a different tripod because that tripod is total trash. That was such a pain in the butt, but that has nothing to do with this riding bikes episode. The headlight is cute as well. I do like it daytime running and the modes anyway let's uh oh. give this baby a a ride let's uh cruise about a little bit more haven't even put it in uh, fast mode yet and I'm not sure if I will how's air temperature 57 makes no sense makes no sense at all Here we go. What, there's a Chase Bank right there. Mm. No. I do need to go to Chase Bank. Look at that sculpture. So weird. A weird little, a weird little one. I 
do want to go into Manhattan. That would be fun. But I also just kind of anxious. I'm a little bit uh I'm a little bit worked up. Look at this thing. Beautiful. 65 miles until I need to fill up. I don't know how much gas. Oh, you can change all that. You can change uh, the dash and what it's showing and what doesn't. It is kind of weird to hear how quiet this thing is. Quick shifter, do your thing, 21. Whoa, forgot how to ride a motorcycle for a second there. Hell, these mirrors are bad. I can't see anything. That would be my first move. I never understood. Like, I guess motorcycles have to be built so they work for a lot of people, and obviously, different people are different sizes, stating the fucking obvious. But I don't ever understood how these mirrors work for anybody ever. It's funny, my uh, suspension on my 620 is actually arguably better in the front than this. Just because uh, it's a little bit more planted, which is kind of surprising. The thing about this motor, the Testostrata, is that it pulls holes in every fucking air like a like a rocket ship I would imagine if you have this bike for a while the the joy of blasting it everywhere probably wears off What a machine. I am all about it. In the quick shifter, you get like this all, you, you just feel sloppy. All of a sudden, before you know it, you're just like shifting left and right like a, an animal with no consideration for, for, you know, life and limb. No consideration at all. Some sort of a fucking situation over here, though. There we go. Comfortable enough to go wherever the hell you want, to be honest with you. Not bad at all. Alright, let's go to my cheesy block. 
to the block that I, I always go to so I can do a proper tripod shot because the one in Dumbo is was questionable at best not impressed not impressed much there we go these folks are moving it is funny how uh, oh look at that truck god damn it's funny how Ducati sound uh, when you when they're stuck you know probably do some wheelies on this bitch if I knew how if only I knew how I think this is the street. Really, I think it really is. Here we go. This is the classic block where I always squat like a fucking derelict. And I'll do it here as well. Why not? Where's that kickstand? There we go. So traction control is at 5, ABS is at 3, wheelie control at 3. Quick shifter is on, touring mode. We'll keep it in touring. I don't think I need to go into sport just yet. <sighs> anyway, yeah. I don't know if, uh, that's interesting. I actually hired these people before wall to wall. Trying to decide which way is the way to go. And if this vlog is over or not. But, you know, let me... Let me just do some final thoughts before I let you guys go and before I let this uh, motorcycle go back to its rightful owner well even though I got like a couple hours actually still I can uh, ride around for a few more hours if I really want dude this thing is just freaking silly it's a, this is a shitty, bumpy street. Good lord. What is this? Is this the street? I don't think so. This doesn't even look like New York, does it? Like, where the hell am I? Madness. Long story short, I love this bike and it is quite a hoot. It is quite a hoot. And 111 horsepower compared to my bikes like 50 something, like come on, night and day. Night and day. little park oh look it's a skate park over here that's dope I didn't even realize it that's super cool
I've done a couple of episodes of riding bikes at this point, as you know. And this got to be one of my favorites, to be honest. This thing just feels right at home. My butt, I mean, feels right at home on this thing. Interesting park. These mirrors are terrible though. Mirrors are legit terrible. I don't know what's going on over there. I'd love to check it out, but I'm not trying to break the rules. on this truck over here literally I'm just trying to coherently tell you anything else about this bike because I'm gonna end this vlog and uh, start another but what can I tell you what can I tell you about this bike Ooh, what is that spot over there that's kind of dope what is that spot it's a nice little area over there to chill that's cool. I love this bike. Big fan. Big fan. Um, anyway, yeah, like uh, if you got questions, I mean, at this point, because the thing is, it's like I'm always trying to like regurgitate some sort of a uh, uh, technical specs and shit. But like this bike's been out since 2000. 21 um, So all the information you need is on there and I don't care about the trellis I really don't give a shit about the trellis frame and it being there or gone uh, The performance the smoothness of the whole thing is what Is what's all about for me Is that the, the block I think so. I think I used to go to this block and ride on the little uh, little wall over here. I don't know why I don't come to this block more often for videos and such. I used to uh, fly my drone here. Yeah, look at that bends. That is gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> yes. 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 Let's jump it. Whoa! Jumping, jumping somebody else's bike. How about that? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Literally, besides these mirrors and these turn signals and uh, the exhaust being wimpy, this guy, this bike is perfect. And little self-canceling turn signals. Like I didn't even know it was like a. A thing. I mean, obviously it's a thing, but you know, who 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 would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? I'm gonna get to uh, my favorite park, where I'm gonna call it a, where I'm gonna call it a vlog. This bike just makes me want to break all the rules. I just don't even want to stop at red lights or anything. Here we go. And this is the touring mode. I don't even want the freaking the non-touring mode. But I'll try it maybe later on in a different vlog. <sighs> right to the right over there is Queens. Good old Queens. This is a super long vlog. This is probably the longest riding bikes episode ever. But I am pretty excited. I am pretty excited to share with you uh, finally riding 
this bike. I can't believe I didn't ride it like two years ago, you know? It's all good. It's all good. Better late than never, as they say, right? Better late than never. Still recording. It's a beautiful, gorgeous thing. Here we go. So, you know, leave a comment below if you think I should, uh, if this is the bike for me. But don't be too brutally honest because I'm fragile and sensitive. Look at me. I'm just freaking cruising on this bike. This bike is just, uh, my baby. Wait, is that my keys? Yeah, good. That is my keys. Comfy, super comfy. Super comfy. And I'm flat footed. Look, I'm only 5'9 and I'm super flat footed on this baby. Crickets. Speed camera. So let's just calm. Come down. Come down. Whoa. Little little runner. R r r r runner. Why is there mad cops over there? I'm guessing because uh of speeders on the old bridge. But man, there's like reports of lots and lots of police. What a weird day, because for a second I started sweating, and I was getting hot, and now my ears just got cold. How do you, uh, how do you explain that? I sure am looking forward to all the backfiring this bike can do. I wish this bike had an exhaust. Uh, my buddy Lucas actually just wrote, uh, just uh, well, not just, but recently put on an exhaust onto his uh, Hyper Motard, an SC project, and I need to revisit that bike in a riding bikes episode and ride his triple as well. I gotta zip up, my neck is cold. So I'll pull over right here and uh, deliver my final thoughts. There we go. Somebody's like taking pictures of their bike over here. I'm doing the same thing. Look, it's like a little adventure triumph. Adorable. Anyway, I'm just gonna turn this baby off for a second. So, final thoughts. I love this bike. I do like this bike. I am a big fan. So, as always, thank you for watching the vloggy. I'm sorry this is a long, rambly one, but it's a good fit. It's a physically good fit. I like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.